And now we get to the next step. Orientation of the last layer. Or OLL. The easiest way to remember OLL, so you don't have to remember that many, there, are, there is 56 cases of OLL that you would have to learn. But this way you only have to learn 7. Basically, every time you're going to do an OLL, make the cross. Because if you don't make the cross, you have to learn this OLL case and all the other ones. So always make a cross, and you'll always have only seven OLL cases. This is case number 52. You have the cross and one corner correctly orientated. So you want to hold it so it's like this. That you have a blue face in the right, a blue face in you, and a blue face in the left. And here's what you want to do. You want to do R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. And you've orientated the top layer. The next case is headlights. Not really, this actually is not headlights. This is just a different one. This is just the cross, no corner slip. You have two corners facing this way and two corners facing that way. This case is case number 50, and the algorithm is R, U, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And you've orientated the top layer. Okay, this next case is similar to the previous case. However, you have two facing the right, but you have one facing you and one facing away. This is case number 49. You actually want to hold it. So you have one facing you in the right hand, and these two are looking to the left. The algorithm is R, U2, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2, U2, R. And you orientate the top layer. This next case is similar to the first case I taught you where you have to hold the cake in like this. But this one is going to be the opposite. Instead of holding it here, you're going to hold it like that. You're going to have one blue face and you should know this algorithm already. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And you've already the top layer. This next case, you have two corners parallel to each other. And they are orientated correctly. And then you want to hold it so you have one blue facing the left and one blue facing the back. And this is case number 57, and this one is a little more tricky, but you should get the idea. You want to turn both L faces prime, U prime, just the outer L face prime, U, R, U prime, L, U and then X prime. Then you have orientated the top layer. Only two more cases. This next case is headlights because you have two blues facing you and you're going to have them face you during the algorithm. This is case number 55 and you do the algorithm R2 down R prime U2 R down prime R prime U2 R or R prime sorry. R prime, sorry. And you've orientated the top layer. In this next case, you may get confused with headlights. It's kind of the opposite. It's chameleon. Well, let's see, that's what I like to call it. You have one blue facing that way and one blue facing that way, so it looks like a chameleon. The eyes are bugging out. You want to turn it so that you have one chameleon eye facing you. This is case number 56. It's a short but kind of tricky algorithm to remember. But here it is. Both L faces prime. U prime, the L face once, U, R, U prime, both R faces prime, then F, and you've orientated the top there. Okay, next is PLL. PLL has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 cases to learn. And that's the simple ones. And I'm not really up for teaching 21. So I'm just going to teach the basic way to know how to do it. First off, you want to move the cube around so you have as many pieces lined up as possible. That doesn't work right there. 
So right now you only have to move these two, and these is a J perm. I know that much. So I'll teach you this one because this is the permutation, but then I'm just going to teach you the basic edge cycles and corner cycles. This is a J perm because you're moving the pieces like this, kind of like a J. You're switching these two edges and these two corners. And the algorithm is R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime. And the cube is solved because you permutated the only wrong pieces. Okay, right now is a clockwise edge cycle. To do a clockwise edge cycle, turn it around so the fixed edge is facing you, and do the algorithm R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R, U, R, U prime, R. Sorry. And then the cube is solved. Now, this kind of looks like the same thing, but it's a counterclockwise three edge cycle. You want to have it so the front edge is facing you, so it's going to go like that. And you're going to do the algorithm R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. And the cube is solved. Okay, next is a three corner cycle where this clockwise, where this piece will go here, this piece will go here, and then this piece will go here. You want to have the fixed corner on your left hand side, so it's like that. The algorithm to do that is x, r prime, u, r prime, d2, r, u prime, r prime, d2, both l faces prime and then x, and then the cube is solved. This next case looks just like it, but it's the opposite way, it's counterclockwise. Instead of the pieces going like this, the pieces will go like this. So counterclockwise, I just, the corner cycle on them. The algorithm is x, r2, d2, r, u, r prime, d2, r, u prime, L prime, L, sorry, and the cube is solved. Well, that's it for the Friedrich method. I hope you guys learned. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'm not going to go too in deep, in depth into all the permutations. If you guys want me to, I'll make just one video about permutations and F2L if you have any questions on that. However, by request, one person wanted me to show them what a G permutation looks like. So um, I'm just going to set it up really quick. Okay, so here's a G permutation. It's like the corner clockwise, the corner cycles and the edge cycles we learned are put together. So what you're gonna do in this case, I think it is. Okay, all right. So you have a. The corners are gonna go from here, here, and here. We're gonna go like that, and then the edges are gonna switch like this. If I mess this up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. This is a really hard one to learn. Okay. So I'm going to do it. Right there. Fix everything. That's more for like the advanced if you want to memorize them all. Remember every case. But thank you and please feel free to subscribe.